Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how I go from this to this as I take off my makeup for the night. So you're getting makeup removal slash skincare routine in this video and I'm really excited because this is my holy grail. My skin is so sensitive. Any little thing can just cause it to unravel. <laughs> I have to be very choosy with the products that I use. This routine has helped my skin to be able to not break out unnecessarily, especially when I'm doing heavy makeup looks like this one. It's changed me and how I feel about my skin when I don't wear makeup. If you have sensitive skin, if you have combination skin, this routine is gonna rock your world. We have layers and layers of makeup on my face right now. We're gonna start with the cleansing balm. Cleansing balms. They are amazing. They are amazing. You need to do two cleanses whenever you are taking off your makeup. I used to be really heavy on makeup wipes. <laughs> Not good for your skin. If <laughs> you use makeup wipes, I'm judging you hardcore. <laughs> it doesn't get your skin clean enough and it will leave your skin dry. Even if it says for sensitive skin or hydrating wipes. No, it will strip your skin of its natural oil. What you wanna do is a cleansing balm because you're using oils to help remove your makeup. This one is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face. I try to just take one scoop and go to town. A good alternative, if you don't wanna buy this or don't want to invest in a cleansing balm quite yet, use coconut oil. Coconut oil is so good for removing makeup. Whenever I don't have a cleansing balm on hand, I will go ahead and use coconut oil. It just also really helps break down the makeup in a way that your typical cleanser won't. So my goal when I'm doing the cleansing balm is to really focus gently on the eyes. I try to just make sure all of that mascara and eyeshadow and everything is kind of just melting in. I don't have a sink in front of me. I was gonna pretend like I did, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to get up, go to the bathroom, rinse, and then come back. So, excuse me. <laughs> Coming to you right out of the water. Look at how clean the skin is already after one go. Ignoring the fact that I feel like I look like a pale rat. Oh my gosh. I rinsed my face until I felt all the oil off. As I was rinsing, I was kind of just like rubbing to make sure I got all the residual off. We're not done with cleansing yet. I feel like the biggest mistake that I made in my past in doing um, my skincare is I thought that if I just put a cleanser on, one cleanser, I was fine. And I didn't need to do like a specific makeup remover. I didn't think it was necessary. I was wrong. This is how you probably remove makeup. We can go ahead and start on the second cleanse. I'm gonna go in with the Tula Skin Care Cult Classic Purifying Cleanser. I've been using this for the past year and I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to dry skin. This is like my little trick that I feel like really helps get a nice and deep cleanse. It does really good for my skin. Let me go rinse this off with super cold water. Rinsing with cold water is literally the best thing that you can do for your skin. It's not very comfortable to do, but it does wonders for your skin. Not only is that cold water tightening up your pores, but it's also allowing your skin more hydration. I started doing cold rinses or only putting cold water on my face. I feel like it's changed my skin. Next up, we're gonna do a toner, if you will. It's from Caudalie. It is their beauty elixir. This this stuff is amazing. I use it as a toner. It smells great. This is a mini version. I need to get a larger version. It really makes you glow. There's one step in this entire routine that I don't have and usually right after my toner, I would go ahead and put it on. It is the Ordinary Serum with niacinamide and zinc. It is my favorite, favorite serum. I just so happened to have ran out. It really has helped keep my acne under control. I love it. I absolutely love that serum. It's so amazing. Instead of using that serum today, I'm gonna actually use a Caudalie serum. Guys, I they have the best formulas. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but their stuff works. Such quality stuff. This is their instant firming serum, which is also really good to wear at night to help firm that skin. It feels so good. Apply it to the neck as well. I'm not sponsored by them. I just love their products. For shizzle my nizzle. I know people like to apply oils after their moisturizer and technically in aesthetic world, that is what you wanna do. However, I like to use bio oil on my skin before I put on my moisturizer because I feel like it helps to really get to those dark spots. That's just me. I'm not using this oil to lock in moisture. I'm using it to help heal my dark spots on my skin and scarring. I have like a nice little scar right here in the middle of my head. It's going away. I have some acne scars on my chin that has just recently come up, but those will go away because I use bio oil. I'm a huge promoter of bio oil. I love it. Bio oil. 
is life. I was so scared to use bio oil on my face because I thought it would break me out because I have sensitive skin. I used to have so many sunspots here, but when I started using bio oil, it's helped lighten them so much. Next, I'm gonna use another Caudalie. This video should just be Caudalie. Sorry guys. I would not be showing you this stuff if it wasn't legit. This is actually their new rich cream that they have and it's really amazing. I've been loving using it. It's such a nice consistency. That's like my favorite thing about it. It feels so good and moisturized. Moisturizing. It smells great and it just it makes my skin my skin is so happy when I use it I took a break and I started using more like Charlotte Tilbury stuff and some other products and my skin knew I took a break because it wasn't as glowing and vivacious as it usually is. I started using Caudalie again because I was like, I want it back. We're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. This is actually a really good eye cream. I used to not do any eye cream underneath my eye because I didn't think it was necessary. When I started to, my under eye dark circles went away. They feel more firm. Since I've been doing this routine, my skin is just different. It's just different. That's why I call it my holy grail because it's changed my skin, man. Last but not least, I use a lip balm. I'm using this lip balm from Make. It's a lip reset mask and it just gives my lips some hydration because <laughs> Your girl needs it. So that is it, my friends. That is how I remove my makeup, take care of my skin, and now I'm ready for bed. I feel super hydrated. I heard a thing on TikTok and I thought it was really funny. You don't look like a glazed donut when you go to bed. You're doing it wrong. And it's true because you want your face to be ultra moisturized when you go to sleep because that period of time that you're sleeping, you want all the rejuvenating powers to just soak in all that moisture. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. I have been doing this routine for the past year and I have noticed such a difference in my skin. I can feel confident that my skin is truly clean, like really, really clean. And I know that my skin will be happy <laughs> with me. Hold on, I gotta redo my hair because like, it's stressing me out. Okay, hold on. You're not living your best life. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I'm gonna try my best to link everything in the description box below for you guys to check out. Please let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure you're subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.